Guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'll be discussing today the difference between a manual transmission and automatic transmission. But before I do that, uh, I'd like to define what is transmission. No? The transmission is actually, is from the root word itself, it transmits power from the engine to the wheels, of course, through a series of connections. We know that uh, the engine uh, produces the power and uh, that power is transmitted actually to the crankshaft no? and, that's, and this crankshaft uh, rotates. Of course, this is connected to the flywheel and, uh, and this power, the rotating power, should be transmitted to the wheels. The flywheel is actually bolted to the crankshaft and uh, what the flywheel does is uh, it acts as a balancer to the engine. It actually dampens uh, engine uh, vibration caused by the firing of the cylinders. And then it acts as the uh, surface where the clutch, uh, the clutch disc uh, can rest on. No? And the main function of the flywheel is to transfer the torque from the engine to the transmission. By the way, yun nga palang plywheel, meron siyang mga teeth, no? Uh, these teeth are nandun sa circumference ng uh, plywheel. It's there where you connect the starter motor so that the engine starts, no? So once it starts uh, rotating, that power or torque generated by the engine should be transmitted to the transmission, no? And of course, inside the transmission, there are many gears with different uh, gear ratio. And this is used to, to vary the speed or, or depending on the need of the car. No? And uh, this transmission can be either manual or automatic. So that's the relation of the engine and the transmission. Okay, let's discuss first uh, manual uh, transmission. What is manual transmission? Well, when you say manual transmission, meron siyang tinatawag na clutch. Ano? What is the purpose of uh, the clutch? The purpose of the clutch is to have a connection between uh, the engine and uh, the transmission. No? Of course, uh, when the engine is running, uh, there are times na you need to cut the connection between the engine and the wheels, di ba? And that where the clutch comes in. Uh, ano ba yung uh, kasama ng clutch? Bali, yung clutch system, composition ng nung uh, clutch disc, merong pressure plate, and then yung uh, release bearing. Remember, yung clutch disc, meron siyang dalawang side na lumalapat sa flywheel saka sa pressure plate. Ito ngayon is in between the flywheel and the pressure plate. When your foot is uh, not on your clutch or you are not uh, pressing the clutch pedal, that means to say that the clutch and the flywheel are connected together and this is being pushed by the pressure plate, no? So that uh, the movement or the rotation of the engine is directly coupled doon sa rotation naman nung, ano, nung uh, transmission. No? Now, how do you break the connection? You break the connection by pressing on the clutch. What happens is when you press on the clutch pedal, the pressure plate now uh, releases yung ano parang nagkakaroon siya ng distance or uh, clearance between the the what you call this the flywheel and the clutch no 
nagkakaroon ng distance so that the connection is cut off meaning to say that the engine is running and uh, it's not connected to the uh, transmission uh, per se kasi nga nagkaroon ng uh, clearance eh, no so once you release the clutch kakapit uli yung clutch doon sa flywheel and it will now rotate together with the transmission shaft no that's the ano uh, the principle of the clutch so when you press the clutch there is now a clearance so you can now shift the gear so you can put it in uh, different gears Se primera segunda tercera no because it's now disconnected temporarily and once you release it then it's now coupled again no now let's talk about the pros and cons of the manual transmission the number one uh, advantage ng manual transmission is that you have full control so you can do upshift downshift depending on your requirement so you have a full connection uh, with your car unlike in automatic transmission wherein yung automatic transmission it uh, shift the gears for you automatically so you don't have that much connection the other advantage is uh, it's mechanically simpler no so which means uh, it's uh, simpler to maintain so it's less costly to maintain and the best part of manual transmission is is that it's fun to drive uh, unlike auto na a little bit cumbersome but nowadays, you know, yung car manufacturers, they're manufacturing uh, yung ano na, dual clutch uh, transmission uh, to make them ano, uh, quicker and better in uh, transferring power from the engine to the wheels. So, you can accelerate faster. The other advantage is that uh, in terms of fuel efficiency, it's better than automatic transmission. So, traditionally, manual transmission are lighter less complicated so it's more fuel efficient and, and lastly it's less expensive in terms of cost manual transmission is always cheaper that's why you can see in the entry-level cars it's always manual it's the cheapest no no but uh, it's different when you're driving sports cars you know uh, sometimes uh, they prefer really manual to get the power from the engine and uh, when you're driving a manual uh, sports car or supercar it's really fun to drive now let's discuss the disadvantage of manual transmission number one uh, it's not good for uh, for example long commute saka yung stop and go traffic kasi nakakapago di ba you you press the clutch pedal and the, the brakes and it's very tiring. Uh, another thing, if you're driving in a hilly area, it requires uh, more balancing or thinking, uh, shifting between the gears and, and uh, using the clutch. So it takes a lot of skill, no? And then if you're in an uphill area, if there's, if there's somebody behind you, uh, you might uh, drift back and, and hit the car at the back. So if you're not good enough, no? And the other thing is there's a very limited uh, selection now of manual transmission. It's uh, normally automatic na in the market. Of course, the other disadvantage is that it's more difficult uh, to drive aside from the inconvenience, no? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, now let's talk about uh, automatic transmission. When you say automatic transmission, the car change the gear for you. It doesn't have the clutch pedal, no? Instead of a clutch, there is what we call torque converter. What is a torque converter? Inside a torque converter, there are, there are two pan-shaped uh, components uh, filled with the uh, transmission fluid. There is an impeller or a pump and uh, it's coupled to a turbine, no? That is normally attached to the uh, transmission uh, input shaft no so uh, as the engine turns uh, ito nga yung impeller the blade of the impeller moves the fluid uh, which in turn causes the turbine to turn 
So, syempre, the fluid uh, moves uh, in the closed loop. And then, there's a third component called the stator. The stator sits between the impeller and the turbine. And it helps direct the fluid movement. So, as you push uh, the throttle, yung fluid uh, moves the turbine, uh, syempre, faster. And it sends more power to the transmission. The reverse naman, uh, as you slow down, the movement also slows down. So, the turbine stops or slows down again and the engine sits idle. So, without ano, uh, stalling. So, in short, the fluid controls the reaction of the transmission uh, automatically. Kasi, uh, inside the transmission, there are different uh, gear ratios. And uh, it automatically looks for the gear ratio that match the speed of the car. Just a reminder though, uh, transmission... Uh, although it does not require as much maintenance as the engine, it still requires regular maintenance. So, normally, you change your transmission fluid, let's say, every 40,000 kilometers so that uh, it can perform at the uh, best efficiency. No? Uh, you know naman, kasi yung transmission uh, fluid becomes hot because the, the gears inside the transmission spins very fast. No? So that's why uh, there are cases na you have uh, transmission coolers, di ba? Uh, the function of the coolers is actually to regulate the transmission uh, temperature. In fact, in some cars, you, you have gauges to check the uh, fluid temperature of the transmission so that you will know when to uh, rest the car, no? Now, let's talk about the advantages. The number one advantage, uh, of course, it's uh, very easy to use and easy to maneuver, especially in uh, stop-and-go traffic than the manual transmission. Second, uh, nowadays, the automatic transmission is becoming more reliable than manual. Ano? It's very uh, simple to use. You just uh, press the accelerator, it will run smoothly, and then you press the brake, it will stop. So, very easy to use. The third is uh, it's uh, safer in a way because uh, normally your hands are on the steering wheel, di ba? Unlike uh, in a manual, medyo na distract ka because uh, in the, you, you change the gear more open using your other hand. No? Of course, uh, automatic transmission has a smoother ride because uh, yung mga gearboxes niya, it's uh, normally nag o ng seamless transition no? between the gears, uh, giving you a pleasant ride without uh, more vibration. Of course, the best advantage really is uh, it's the best for stop and go traffic. So, it's much easier and uh, less tiring. Now, in terms of disadvantages, number one, siempre, it's more expensive. So, automatic transmission cars eh, are more expensive. Second, it's a little bit you know, uh, boring to drive. Uh, some they say you take out the fun out of the driving, diba? You cannot uh, uh, feel the changing of the gears and uh, parang you lose connection with the car. And of course, the other disadvantage is that uh, it consumes uh, more fuel. But uh, nowadays, technology has improved a lot. You can see a lot of uh, automatic cars with uh, fuel high or efficiency rating. No? Okay, uh, we now have discussed the uh, differences between the manual and automatic transmission. The final question is, which is better? Well, the answer is, it depends. Uh, it depends uh, on your need, no? which is more comfortable for you if you're driving in urban. Mostly, then you go for uh, automatic transmission. It's also good for people with the uh, disability or with limited uh, mobility but uh, if you travel for example longer distances regularly and uh, you see driving as more than getting from point A to B then perhaps uh, manual is best suited for you it's more enjoyable 
and rewarding. And lastly, uh, you have to consider the cost. No? Uh, when you have an automatic uh, transmission, yeah, it's more expensive. But uh, if you have the money to spare, then I would recommend an automatic transmission. Especially if you're driving in the city like uh, Metro Manila, it's more convenient. And uh, siempre, you have to pay for convenience, diba? Additionally, uh, you consume more fuel when using automatic transmission, so it's more costly. And if you're driving in the province, uh, pwede na yung manual transmission. It's uh, simpler to use and uh, less costly. At saka marami ng mga mekaniko na nakakagawa ng uh, manual transmission, magpalit ng clutch lining. Pag automatic kasi, sometimes it's uh, difficult to find uh, good mechanic if you're in, in the province. No? Alright, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you again my next vlog. Bye!